Hey guys, here's how to set up a guest network on Asus branded routers for your home. Now, this little instructional kind of assumes that you've already got the router somewhat configured and working for your home network. So I'm assuming you have a username and password you can use to log in to the router if you go to router.asus.com. And I've had the best success with this using a wired connection with an ethernet cable, but uh, it's technically not necessary. But uh, if you don't have your username and password, uh, the default should be printed somewhere on the box or documentation that you bought your router with. But go ahead and log in. And I've already done that, so I'll flip over to the other tab. Once you're in here, you'll see your general dashboard for navigating your router setup options. Now, one thing I would recommend is checking to see that your firmware is up to date before you try to do a whole lot of stuff because it's important for security and options and whatnot. But Assuming that's all set, the third option down on the left here says Guest Network. If you click that, this is a page where you can configure your guest network stuff. Now, I've got two sections because I've got a dual band router. I see options for 2.4 gigahertz and 5 gigahertz with the ability to add up to three guest networks per band here. So I've already set up one, but if you have not yet, you will see enable in all three spots. If you click enable, you will be given all your configuration options for setting your SSID, whether or not it's hidden, what type of encryption to use, what your password is, and any limitations on access time or uh, limits on bandwidth or access to the intranet or not. So you can go ahead and configure all these things to your liking and then hit apply. Now I've already done that, but once you do, you'll see that uh, a new entry will show up here. And if you want to edit it, you can just go ahead and click on it and it will take you back to the same page you're on before where you can make your changes and hit apply again. And again, you can do that for either for uh, 2.4 gigahertz or five gigahertz, but I've only seen the need to do it just for the 2.4 for me. So that's all there is to it. Hope this was helpful. Thanks for watching.